في الآخر أقول فوليوم 12 page 525. So what do we say? It's very clear. It's very clear. Anyway, yes. Um, we want to give chance for those who did not have a chance of asking. And then I come back to you. Oh, uh, okay. What was the question of the sister? Your question was about taqiyya, right? Yes. I'll bring you from, uh, just a second. Basically, taqiyya with Ahl sunnah it is haram to be used except in critical cases such as threatening, persecuting, etc. Et okay? Okay. And the verse is very clear. Man kafara billahi ba'da imin ba'di imanihi illa man ukrih wa qalbuhu muqma'innu bil iman. It's very clear, inshallah. Tayyip. 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 Are you talking about those who became Shia? Sorry? I'm talking about critical cases. I'm giving you an example. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know of several cases of, of Muslim ladies who are married who are not Muslim and have changed their beliefs from Sunni to Shia and vice versa. I only mean, it happens. And they are still accused of being Shia. Are you talking about those who are Muslim and they cannot reveal their true selves to their family and to their friends and to the rest oh. of the world because otherwise they would be in danger, physical and, and mental harm? Mm -hmm. That is why to be. A and you know the opposite as well. What about Awtala? What about Awtala? What about Awtala? Him as being someone who practiced Taqiyya. Awtala was using Taqiyya? Yes. Oh. Not in our relations, maybe in your relations. Yes, in your yes. Relations. I'm not speaking the fact that you do okay. otherwise, but that I'm giving you an example. People who were in, in physical and mental harm are allowed to hide their religion because they are in, in, in danger. Is that according to your madhab or to the Shia madhab? That's according to my personal beliefs. And yes, I'm guessing the Shia madhab. No, not the Shia. Let me talk to you something. Shh. Please. And don't, make, don't say shh. It's not respect. Don't say it. Say please. Um, I'll give you the answer to this. In the book Al-Kafi, Al-Rawda, volume 8, page 292. Ja'far al-Sadiq, he was with Abu Hanifa. Someone came to Abu Hanifa and he said to him, I have seen in my dream, let me, I have seen in my dream something. He said, okay, tell me, what's your dream? He told him his dream. He said, you are a man who is going to divorce your wife. Don't do that. Then Ja'far said to him, Wallahi laqad asabta ya Abu Hanifa. Then when Abu Hanifa went, asabta ya, you are right. It's absolutely true, oh, Abu Hanifa. Then when Abu Hanifa left, the questioner, who was Shia maybe, he said to Jafar, uh, you amazed me, I'm amazed of what you, you said to, the, to this Nasibi. Nasibi, Nasibi means an enemy to Ahlul Bayt. You said to him, you're right, and you swore by Allah that, it's, that he was right. He said, what did you know about what I said to him? I meant to say to him, Wallahi laqad asabta al khata'a. Ya Abu Hanifa, you have targeted the wrong Abu Hanifa, but I did not say the wrong in front of him. Now tell me, was Abu Hanifa forcing him to use to use taqiyya? Um, sorry, can you repeat who said that? Who, who related the name? Jafar said to Abu Hanifa when he when he when he tabir uh, tafsir when he illustrated well, no no problem when he illustrated his dream, he said to him, Abu Hanifa said to the man. You are the person, you are going to divorce you, are you thinking about divorcing your wife, so don't divorce her. Then Ja'far al-Sadiq said, Wallahi, you are right, Abu Hanifa. Then when Abu Hanifa left, the man who saw the dream, he, saw to, he said to Ja'far al-Sadiq, I wonder, how do you say, Wallahi, you are right, to that Nasibi? He said, what did he know what, about what I meant? I meant to say to him, Wallahi, you are right in your wrong answer. Wallahi, you are right in your wrong answer. This is taqiyya. This is taqiyya. So, 
let me, let me mention to you what the scholars, the Shia scholars talk about taqiyya, such as al Khomeini. He said, taqiyya can be used, can be used less the madhab may diminish, they may, may vanish. We use taqiyya to maintain the madhab. What is the first thing you're talking about? He said, al Khomeini in his book. If you want me to bring it, I'll bring it to you. Hmm? I'll give it to you. al hukum al Islamiya, page 61. He said, he said, we use taqiyya a cause of fear of our madhab that it may vanish. And how can you say you use it when it's really critical? Ja'far al-Sadiq is also saying, taqiyya, uh, taqiyya is, is our faith. He who does not use taqiyya has no faith. Look. Let's put the word taqiyya aside. Swine, pork. Suppose someone said to you, he who does not eat the pork, he has no faith. And we know that eating the pork is allowed in a critical circumstances, right? When you have no more food, you're, you're afraid that you may die because of hunger, okay? But, but you can't say to the person, either you eat the pork, or, but if you die because you don't want to eat the pork, you're kafir. You have no faith. Cannot be. So they're saying to us here that 9% of the 10, among the 10, uh, 9 of the 10th of our faith is based on taqiyya. And he who has no taqiyya has no faith. That's what they narrated by Jafar al-Sadr. So as, as you believe, you're one of the layman Shia, by the way. And as, as, as I said before, the layman Shia are better than their scholars. I'm sorry to say that to you. Due to my experience, I know many Shia who do not allow the standing of Aisha, do not allow the standing of the companions, but the shaykhs of the Shia are not the same. I'm sorry to say that to you. With all my respect to you. Okay, Shara, uh, it's a little down the question. Uh, I promised him to come back to him. We will, we will do, but it's good for some people have not asked me questions yet. All right. Sorry, 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 just a quick comment. I uh, just wanted to reiterate a very important principle that the Sheikh mentioned, but it's kind of glossed over. Now, when we're learning the, the beliefs and the creed of different, all, the diff all the different sects uh, of the Ummah, not just the Shia, but any, any sect, there's a very important principle that we, we say that by, by the sect we mean what they, their creed and what their doctrine is. And we do not call the average person necessarily with the same uh, allegations we do the scholars. This is a very, very, very important thing which I feel people have maybe uh, ignored or, or haven't paid attention to. Because if we, if we understand this, we realize how, because if you see any, any sect in our history, if you see what they actually believed in, and you think to the rational mind, you, you would obviously say, I would not believe in this. Okay? But the problem comes when, obviously the, the, the scholars of the sect don't want the people to the general masses to know what the, the, the general creed and, and the basis of the, of the sect is. Shalom, brother, can I just ask you to make... Uh, very brief, um, in brief fact, and actually, loud, in fact, so I can understand. Can I go to brother first before you? Because he has been waiting for a long time, inshallah. Yeah, then I'll come to okay. you. Okay. Uh, but like I said, can we, make, can we make the questions very brief? Because I do want to ask the brother here and invite him back uh, to debate, inshallah. Yeah, so make this very brief. Uh, okay, thank you. Kill of the man is Qadr. And uh, the Qadr of Allah is that uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq was after, uh, was before Ali. So how can we keep going on and on and on about this issue that Ali was to come, was supposed to be first? And again, after that, she said that Ali, uh, Ali has the, the tasir of the Quran or something like that. The, what are we supposed to do until then? What, are we supposed to stay in this uh, uh, era of jahiliya? What are we supposed to do? What's your advice? I, I, would have to, uh, I would have to stop you. Thank you very much for your comment. But I don't want comments to refute others. I don't want it. I'll be refuting. Okay? It may not be accepted of you. May Allah reward you. Thank you. I know your intention. But let them be with me. If they want to ask, I'll answer them. Thank you very much. Please, please forgive me. I understand. And uh, brother here quickly, and then the brother there, and then I'm gonna. Okay, your question, please, and then the, the sisters.